What's up guys, you know who it is, you know what it is. DJ LX Star, and this is Toxic TV. All right guys, I'm not gonna keep you guys long. I know I say that all the time, I know, <laughs> I know. Get used to it, all right? But no, this time I'm really gonna try, okay? So I'm gonna jump right into it right away. All right, you guys surf the internet all the time. You come across YouTube videos, tons of videos of people telling you how to get this event and that event and what to do and all these things. So I thought we switch it up a little bit, okay? We switch it up a little bit. And today we're gonna talk about why you are not getting the gigs that you want or why you're not getting a lot of gigs. All right, that's what we're going to talk about. I'm going to give you down 10 reasons as to why you're not getting what you want and why you're not where you need to be, okay? And the first one we're going to jump into is something that I stress a lot all the time. And those who had their one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, they already know that this is one of the first things that I talked about. And that is poor marketing habits. Poor marketing. Poor marketing will stop you from getting the gigs that you want. I'm telling you, if you don't exercise good marketing habits, you're going to get nowhere fast. You're going to be on that treadmill, sweating and running your behind off, going nowhere. Okay, look, if you don't have, you know, you, you have to have good marketing habits. If you're, if you're not willing to, you know, motivate yourself and give yourself that drive to attack the social medias every day, to attack, you know, go out with your card and, and go the extra mile with DJing in public and doing some, you know, stuff like that, you know, to put yourself in front of an audience. Who's going to know you're out there? Who's going to know you're out there? You have to develop good marketing habits. And along with a good marketing habit, you need to have a good marketing strategy, Okay. They're key. I'm telling you, marketing is such a big, major key to help you get those events that you want and or to get more, you know, events and gigs in general, you know, whatever you want to call that. OK, so you really, really got to practice good you know, marketing habits because poor marketing habits will stop you every single time. OK. All right. Now, number two, number two, high line pricing, high line pricing can kill you. It really can. And I'm already prepared that a lot of DJs are going to come across here. Oh, forget that. I'm not getting out the bed for nothing. That's $300, $400. If it's not $1,500, I'm not doing it. You sound stupid. You sound stupid. Here's the thing, man. You you have people. And this, and I would never tell another person to devalue himself. I would never tell you that. But when you're trying to build a lot of gigs and you're trying to close in those weekends so you're booked for the whole year or six months or whatever it may be expect to take some of those you know lower price drinks it's going to happen there's no getting around it anyone who tells you that everything they get is a high line price is a liar he's either a liar he or she she is either lying to you or they're lying to you. <laughs> they either get they, they don't get a lot of gigs straight up. They don't get a lot of business. That's just what it is. Okay, they're not getting a lot of business. If everything about you is a high line price, I promise you, you're not getting a lot of business. Cause it's a fact, and everyone has a com enough common sense to know that they are more lower income people than they are higher income people. So that only goes with saying that you're going to come across people who are going to have that low ball to mid range price more than those every single event. High line prices. That just goes without saying that anyone who says that they get top dollar and I get 1500 bucks for every event, you're a liar. Show me. Show me on paper. Show me your check stuff like I showed mine. Prove it. Prove it, dog. Because I promise you, you don't. You're lying. All right? So high line prices can really, really hurt you and can really kill you. I'm not telling you to devalue yourself, but sometimes you need to talk to the person and find out what their budget is and try to work with them. And this is how you begin to close in those weekends that are open that you just can't seem to close to save your life. This is how you do it. Okay? Mix it up a little bit. You're going to have some high ones. You're going to have some mid ones. You're going to have some low ones. Okay? Mix it up a little bit. All right? Number three, number three, 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 Trey. And this is the one-way DJ. Being a one-way DJ is a surefire way to not get any gigs or events. You will be so limited at what you get because you're a one-way DJ. So you really, really don't have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, you know, different lanes you can go down. I'm only an EDM DJ. If it's not EDM, I'm not doing it. I'm only a hip-hop DJ. If it's not hip-hop, I'm not doing it. I'm only a country DJ. And if they're not playing any country, I'm not doing it. You sound stupid. You sound crazy. You just sound nutty. You know, the more genres you know, the more familiar with music you are, and the more you're familiar with the artist, the better it is for you. You become more valuable. 
more valuable unless you think you're just going to be one of those people who's at one club for the rest of your life. That would be you stunning your own, own growth and missing a whole lot of money that's out here. Not to mention, even in clubs, some of these clubs want you to play different genres, man. It, you, I mean... Especially at bars and things like that. You're going to come across that. Nobody's going to want to just hear the same thing all night long. They're just not going to want... It's just not going to happen. You one you one way DJs really really got to get over that. You really really got to get over that. Don't be a one way DJ, okay? If you're a one lane DJ, you're going to be in all the way to the right in the slow lane, while the rest of us over here are in the fast lane, getting this money. For the simple fact, we know multiple genres of music and know how to spin them and know how to blend them and beat match them and all that good stuff and keep the crowd going while you stay in your one lane. Okay. Um, number four, four quattro. No freebies. It's another reason why a lot of you guys don't get events. You refuse to do any freebies. I do freebies all the time. And my, I did them a lot, man, especially for charities. Get involved with some charities. It's a story that I always tell. I did a, um, a charity event for um, Longevity, which is one of the biggest cancer societies in the world. And um, I did a free event for them. They're like, hey, Star, we don't have no money in budget. We normally don't pay DJs for this, you know. We just, you know... Offer them a, a, a chance to be seen more on a bigger platform. So I said, okay, cool, I did it. Come to find out we were DJing the um the um the Baltimore Orioles baseball team. We were DJing at the stadium and it was dope. I had a really good time, man. I got to meet the owner. It was a good time, man. And here's the crazy thing about it. I did that free event, right? They put me on their website. And there was thousands of people out there, thousands, and they were passing out shirts, and all of them had the shirts on. And on every single shirt was my company and my company logo. And I got a lot of business out of that, man. I really did. I got a lot of business out of that, man. And like I said, and even got to kick it with the owner, one of the owners of the team, man. It was it was dope. You know what I'm saying? We had a good time. So you guys, don't be so, don't get the guy complex, man. Really, really. Come back down to earth a little bit. Come back down to earth. You know what I'm saying? And you know, sometimes do them free ones, them free ones will open up a lot of doors for you because you never know who's in the crowd. All right. Um and uh Excuse me. Moving on to number five. Number five. Five. Smack you in the face. Pimp, 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 pimp slap. Five. Five is for you guys who are using these online um gig booking agencies online and all that stuff. This is what kills you guys. Not calling your clients back as soon as you get the buzz. As soon as you get that buzz and that 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 that, that text hit your phone, blah blah blah, looking for a DJ for yada yada, call them right away. I don't care what you're doing, pull over, make the call right away. Make the call. You're not the only DJ who's seen that ad, you understand? So you have to jump on top of it right away. Jump on top of it right away. As soon as you get that hit, hit them back and talk to them and close that deal, man. Okay? Don't wait so long. You wait long, you wait wrong. You know, everyone knows that saying as well. You wait long, you wait wrong. You got to jump on top of that, man, and really, really, you know, call them people and close them deals. As soon as it hits you, hit them. All right? That's, that's how you got to do it. Hit you, hit them. All right? Good. Okay. Now, number six. Number six is a pet peeve for me, and I really this this ugh, gets under my skin. People who are like this, you're just so bleepity bleeping picky. I don't want to do that kind of event. I don't want to do that kind of event. That event is beneath me. I'm trying to do bigger things. I'm trying to DJ clubs and all that stuff. Okay, guys, I broke this down in the video before. You can want to DJ clubs all you want, but just know clubs pay the least amount of money. It's a fact. They do. Club DJs get more clout than they get money. Believe that. For a long time until they blow up and start getting, you know, all kinds of followers and people packing the club because their name is headlining. But it takes a long time to build that up. It takes a while to build that up. Okay? Now, if you want to put all your eggs in that basket, you go right ahead. But to me, it's just not that smart. Okay? Don't be picky. Take them events. I mean, of course, you know, if you got a moral standing, some things you won't do because it goes against your morals, your religious beliefs and all that. I hear that. I hear that. You got to be a man about things first. You got to be a woman about things first and protect your morals before anything. All right. Because if you don't protect your morals, I mean, what does that say about you? But um, but for the most part, don't be so picky about the events. You know, you know, relax a little bit. You know, go go to them joints. Get that money, man. Cause like I said, you never know who's in the crowd or who may pass you off to other people. OK. All right. Number seven. Number seven is. Refusing to do lower paying gigs. I did a video on this before and, you know, some people understood. Some few people came in with that, that crap, you know. 
Oh, I'm not doing no lower paying gigs and I'm not doing it with the Macho Man Randy Savage Vince. Oh yeah, I'm not doing no lower paying gigs. You sound crazy. At some point, you're gonna do lower paying gigs. Here's the thing, man. I've, I've heard so many times people say, I'm not doing no event for no $350 or no $400. Check this out. There are people who have full time, full, have jobs and they work the whole week and they only make $300 to $400 something dollars. Now, some of those people only make that every two weeks. You're making that in one day for a few hours. So you're gonna turn that down? I'm not turning $300 down. $300 was good then, it's good now. I'm not turning down $400. Bucks. I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to go get that money, okay? I'm going to go get that money. You have to be really, really nutty or just rich to the point that you don't care. But if you were so rich, you know, why would you be a mobile DJ? But anyway, moving on. Uh, number eight, and this is a pet peeve for clients. Stop trying to sell the client you're not selling a car dude this is not real estate stop trying to sell the client clients can tell when you're trying to sell them they're not stupid and it really it comes across as really cheesy arrogant at times and just so cold because you're too busy trying to sell the service don't sell the service sell you sell yourself and i've said this in videos before sell your character sell an emotion make them easier and you no know, Easy feeling around you. Let them relax around you. Just relax. Treat them like a human being. Come across like a human being. Don't come in there with the guy complex and, you know, and, and you know, I'm not doing that gig because it just pays too low. You never know who is who and what kind of door they will open up for you. I'm not saying do all of them, but sometimes you might come across somebody. They spoke like, like I said, you know, you spoke like a gentleman or you spoke like a lady. I'm going to do this event for you. We're going to work with your price and blah, 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 blah. Or can you come with us a little bit to this? You know, or, you know, I normally charge this an hour. You want, you know, $250. Okay. I can't do the four hours, but I can probably give you the two and a half. But you know what? I hate doing half, so I'll give you the three hours. How is that? You're still getting a half an hour free. And I'll still keep the music on while I'm tearing down everything so people can have the, that little bit more time to rock out while I'm still tearing down. You know, I'm going to be tearing down for a good 20 minutes, 25 minutes. You know what I'm saying? They still get that extra time to rock out a little bit. You know, so be nice sometimes, you know. So be Have a heart. Be nice sometimes, all right? Sometimes you got to take the lower paying gig, all right? Sometimes you just, you just got to do it, okay? Number, excuse me, number nine. Um, I mean, excuse me. Yeah, number nine. Number eight, stop selling the client. Number nine. Uh, number nine is very big to me for the simple fact that a lot of people tend to really underestimate the power of it. And that would be a website. Website. You need to have this. You need to have this. You can't just talk to people and sell them on SoundCloud all the time. You just can't. Or mixed cloud or whatever. You just can't, man. People like to see video. They like to see a nice, decent looking website. Don't have to be the best. You can go to Wix and get make you a cheap dot website for free. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about the long lottery numbers they're gonna give you for a website. Don't worry about that because chances are you should be, you know, emailing all that information to the person or texting to them or what have you. You know what I'm saying? Don't have them sit there and type in all that. Don't just don't do it. You know, if you got to go that route to have the free website, you know, and there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, I've, I've used them. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? The point more of the story is they got a place that they can go to check everything out, check your work out, you know, and it makes it that much easier. From that point, you don't have to sell your skill. Only thing you got to do really is, like I said, relax the client, talk to the client, be human with the client. The website will help you out a lot. It will really will help you out a lot. It really, really will. So if you don't have a website, go on Wix. And, and build you one, man. It's, it's not it's not hard to do. It's really, really simple. It really is. Um, if you need some help with it, you know, you can always hit me up, star. I need some help with blah, blah. We'll work something out and I'll help you out with that, all right? Um, and uh, 10. 10 is really important, especially for you DJs who want to go to the next level. You want to travel here and do this. Well, guess what? To travel, you got to be willing to get out your comfort zone and leave your city. You got to do it. You got to get... Whew, out of here sometimes, man. Like my man King Malachi says, out of here. You got to get out of here sometimes, okay? You know, the thing is, guys, you can't just stay in your city and in your area and your neighborhood and think you're going to blow in this business because this does not work that way. It doesn't work that way. Nothing works that way. You got to break out. You got to do other things. You got to go see other places. You know what I'm saying? And also the website will also help you out with that as well. 
isn't it funny how all 10 of these is interconnect with each other? But, you know, like I said, you got to get out your comfort zone. You got to go other places, guys. You got to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. If you're trying to go to that next level, you got to do it. Somebody in New York isn't, doesn't want to hear, well, I've been a DJ for 10 years. I'm trying to get to the next level and DJ inside your club or a DJ that big event y'all have every year. Okay, what have you done? Well, I've been uh, in blah, blah, blah County DJing for 10 years. Okay, what else have you done? Oh, everything is just around blah, blah, blah County. <laughs> It's not cool. It's not, it's, not, it's not a good look, and it's going to get you nowhere fast. Trust me on this. You're not going to book a lot of events that way, all right? So you got to get out and, and explore more, okay? So like I said, one, things that are holding you back from getting the gigs that you want, poor marketing, two, hotline prices, three, being a one-way DJ, four, not working with any charities or anything like that. Have a heart. Is there a heart in the house tonight? All right. I don't get paid to sing, but y'all know I'm going to try anyway because I'm crazy and that's what I do. All right. Also, not contact the clients right away for you guys using the online um, booking, um, gig bookers and the old sites. You got to you gotta call them back right away, man. Being picky, being picky will kill you. It just will. Refusing to take lower paying gigs will also kill you as well. You're going to have to do them sometime. This this. Just grow up and warm up to it. You're going to have to do it. Um, stop selling the client. No one likes a car salesman. I mean, that's just what it is. I mean, just be human with them. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to sell them all the time. You know, don't don't it's, don't turn it into a, into rocket science because it's not. All right. A website not having a website will kill you as well. It sure will take you down, 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 down to the ground. And number ten, as I said, you guys who you guys want to blow up and do bigger things, you gotta be willing to travel and get out of your city and county and state and neighborhood and block and off the front porch. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. All right. You just gotta do it. All right, guys, big shout out to all you guys who've been following, watching the videos. And don't forget, hit the link down there and go get you your Mind Your Business t-shirt. If you haven't seen them already, you know, we also got the um the coffee mug, the little tote bag, you know, V-neck cut shirt, crew neck cut shirt, the sweater, got the pink ones for the females, you know, or the black ones, the blue ones, whatever y'all like. We got it. We got more coming. I'm also working on a sneaker as well. Yeah. You... Imagine that seeing Star Gear on the back of some sneakers. So I'm, I'm working that out. I'm, I'm working all that out. I told y'all 2018, we're doing bigger and better things. We also got the radio um, station that's going to become, that's working every weekend. I'm glad you guys have been um, tuning in for that. We had to work out some some quirks here and there with YouTube, but no, we're good. We got it, we got it down for the most part. It's always going to, nothing's going to run super smooth. It's always going to be something. So it is what it is. It's YouTube. Um, also, we also have... Another segment that we're just adding on, I'm not going to tell you guys the name of it yet, but it's going to be crazy. But I will give you a hint. The Hot Box Drink Champs on steroids is going to be dope. And you guys are going to love it. It's going to be really, really dope. It's going to be really dope. You guys are really, really going to love what about what's about to go down. I told you guys, 2018, 2019, I'm doing big things. I'm doing a lot of things different. A whole lot of things different. Um, Real Rap Volume 2, The Underground Strikes Back is on its way. I'm finishing it up right now. Soon I'm going to be sending it off to get the artwork and everything done. Y'all know my artwork is going to be nutty. You already know already. It's going to be mwah, magnifique. It's going to be dope. You guys are going to love it. All right, guys. Don't forget... Any comments or questions you got, you can put them down there or you can follow me on Instagram and DM me anything you want me to speak on and it will get done. And I'll give you the shout out in the video as well. Don't forget, hit that PayPal down there, guys. Your donations are greatly accepted. I appreciate all you guys who have been donating. It's, it's awesome. It's really, really great. Um, this this Help the Homeless Project is going to be really, 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 really good, man. Also, the um, the iSpin University, you know, the profits are going to both these projects. It's going to be great. My money is inside of it, too. So, you know, let's make this happen, guys. And like I said, you never know when you might need me up here to have a charity for you. All right? All right? There it is. All right, guys. You know who it is. You know what it is. DJ LX Star. And you know my motto is mind your business. Because when you mind your business, that means your business is always on your mind. You dig? Dig it? Good. And make sure y'all go show love, man. And y'all go watch. Y'all go listen to that. Um, The Real Rap Volume 1. It's on there. You know, when you... Down, you can donate, still you can donate whatever you want to get you a copy of it. When you donate, get the copy of it, you get the missing songs that's missing out of it. Yeah. 
So, but for the most part, you guys go listen to it, enjoy it, let me know what you think, give me your, you know, your honest comments. All right, guys, got it? Good. All right, guys, I'm gone. You know who, you know what, we covered that. I'm done, and hopefully this video was a little bit shorter. Probably not, but what are you going to do? You love me. You love me, damn it. I love you guys, too. All right, y'all. I'm gone. Deuces. I want to have me some Pop-Tarts right now. Y'all know I'm a sucker with Pop-Tarts. I just love Pop-Tarts. Yeah. Not just any kind. Cinnamon.